very good morning and welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us this Thursday morning. Say Shailen Simbe's true part of show on a caravan of Fulum Shakes and Eastman, Conjugus, and Talus Pepisile, Sate Sabona Lilanga, Halana Mota. It is the 18th of April. So does Yamba Nani say Shaya e countdown only just less than 24 hours left uh, to the biggest event in the country, which is the King's 56th birthday which will be held at Mangaya and sasema ukuthi konke vele sekume ngemumo kulungiselela wona umsebenti wakusasa lo mkhulu wona kangaka ngweni how are you this morning doing very well ma kakula how are you for ben i'm great happy sengi ke ngelanga la kusasa very excited <laughs> and you have been excited since last week if i'm being mm. honest ngoba i remember when we started getting the you know the news of you know how the preparations are going mm. at Mangaya and you have been quite excited and uh, yeah. I know I think it has wrapped off uh, the excitement that is then indeed region is certainly very very excited and uh, pleased and honored uh, to host uh, his majesty the king's uh, 56th birthday lonyaka we saw the regional administrator babe shifkicha and let you get on the cool test funds are sagamans and so logo nana to dia shotiti halala Mbangazi talwele lulute silo semtlaba Logu msebendi lomutle kakulu Siatu kekuti vele imi mangwe kungelewe kupi Tikulu ini kubwa betikulu So we asked to forget this alwele kutsi The leaders kuma communities are really paving the way And really being the leaders uh, that they are In uh, showing the excitement for everyone in those communities But you know outside of just the king's birthday uh, We also have Current affairs and the the corporation is rebuilding the infrastructure yayo and it has made significant progress in its efforts to become the country's leading broadband provider. Uh, Managing Director Gawayo Ngapani, PTC Temba Kumare, will join us today. Atosko Nmisa Njoyenge, my corporation's major achievements, kanja loge, and my challenges, laba pegene na wubang le Ngapani. Challenge le nkulu nje, live video le toro, nagatlangi nene beti nzaba ngiyo, nzaba ya copper theft. La shilo guguti vele, seba luze, ema kastoma, ngayo e copper theft. Kepa ge, utasikaza la guguti, by rebuild aganjani, no mage bawa advance aganjani, ema technologies abo, by Ngapani EEPT sister is now in a half past six and then later CBA in a baga MSF Swadini they hosted a scientific day yesterday where they shared abstracts on how science and research has informed most of their initiatives Laba Wendago Lapa Swadini don't plan again begune ma lunga MSF langa pante wakuleli kanjalo na stakeholders kanjalo na holomende welive le Swadini stop is in a head of mission in MSF Swadini Louise Naira the ISA lies an officer for the Southern Africa uh, part of it, focusing on uh, preventing fraud, strengthening compliance, and improving contribution collections. Funa Kubuga Tinsaya at Kona, as well as uh, some strategies that uh, they have drafted. Down is down. Funa go see asi vetelenge some light on the primary challenges as well as the risk factors. La po kona la ma institutions our encounter risha kona in preventing fraud and ensuring compliance and contributing really gule collection young and additionally what recent measures and strategies have been implemented to address these challenges. What are the key lessons that have been learned? Una lejega inza ba na let inza the role of technology and collaboration that we also want to talk about because we often hear about the pivotal role of technology and partnerships in driving innovative approaches. How do these factors come into play in combating fraud and enhancing contribution collection and compliance within Southern African social security institutions? All of that at uh, 7.30 this morning. We'll discuss it. We'll also welcome Labakamga Lapak Eswatini Meat Industries. A lot of developments happening there that are certainly a 
exciting umtsengi the consumer is really pleased to learn about bigger and better mv van you want them to tell us about you know them being the first world meat factory in a swatini their philosophy in boosting the country's economy quality meat the solo by habisa mb and certainly the testimonials as well from uh, the customers as well as you know the seafood that they've introduced in their meat section uh, all of that uh, you'll get at 20 past seven as we speak to their marketing manager of uh, the group everything will be exciting later on the show let's look at the leading headlines on uh, today's assorted daily news <laughs> Letamba mbili ugu eswatini daily news lomo la king places 810 million na malangini samlex group plant in Nogwane. That is his majesty uh, cutting the sword at the construction site where the samlex group state of the art Africa had offices and plant at Nogwane, which is an investment worth uh, 40 million euros, that is about 810 million malangini. And in other news, foreign affairs minister in talks with ambassadors from Belarus and Senegal. Daily News this Thursday morning. The leading story there, relegation woes have been eased. Wonderful relief, really. Hub Giants Manzini Wanderers eased their relegation woes with a valuable 3-1 win over Manzini Seabirds as the Wesleyans players earned 15,000 in Malangini match bonus for their efforts. Congratulations to them. It's a tough start for Swatini in Mandela Cup. UEFA Champions League news. Barcelona's uh, dressing room split over loss to PSG. It's really looking bad in uh, Spain right now. A couple of Barcelona following the loss to Paris Saint Germain. Kylian Mbappe and squad managed uh, to beat and eliminate Barcelona from uh, this year's UEFA Champions League. I see Barcelona. I'm going to go to 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 Barcelona. i Real Madrid is doing what it's known for. I'm going to go to the market. I'm going to go to the market. Very, very, very happy customer. I know. I know. I know. I know. I Hello, how are you? We are selling peanuts at five. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm Talak Bussi. Pandi Strat, Babi. Spinzes, 
Nangane maswati na wapeke gila kutsi adlale lkalelo le kusukumisa le ti tingapani. Nkwenyama begatse pefmula inogwane ngeskati ilabal soi la pokona kutawo sukunyi swa umsebe ndwe kwa kasa kiwo sema ovisi ya kasemlex. Kwa ingapani le kikita bopu kwa nabe kupuma ne ungeena ganyene tifike titektalwa. Tokambisana na ilzi ngale mtlaba wonke. Ingwenyama uma inigata hulumende umkombani lela wekusebenda. Ya pefu mlayati agakichi mea ati nkwe atutugi selive ngesi vini nile sikulu. Le ngapani imle minye ye mipume la ye kutikanda kwenyama guka nga basanyi ltimali labata ututugi selive basebendi za lisa ngotilo tepke peja. Le ngapani ikazele ingwenyama gabandi nge msebendu wayo. Kani sei sebende ema veni la maningi eti nsa ngotinle tesuge na temisaba. Lena ge ingapani ile ya kabo pu kwa nabe gupuma na kungena. Pupu kwa nabe buve na titifika titektalwa. Lo guba mbeli zinga hale msaba wonke. Le ingapani gula mahovisi ayo la tauba la pa eswati ni ita ugwenda inshoko hovisi esfunza. Kani sei sebende umave ase Afrika lena mashumi la mabilina sisanu. Mbube mshaba, ipinze ya konji iso agabandi, si chombe se mtwebo wakalogu showe sa kiwa sana mahovisi, le seta uwa kiwa. Kulo msebendi lobu siswe ingwenyama ya maswati weksugu misalo msebendi uwe semlex, ingwenyama beigate isengetwe na makosati esilo, sikolo, njuna ngulu kaya neliba ndaleti njuna tembuso. Sesi pefumle la mshaba silo se mshaba site, Gufika kwa lengapani gule ili kutawu kinsegiza umkomo we mawe gule sfunza we gusegela na negubambi sana kutentutugo. Nasi saa kulumala pa baga simles group babone kwe usi ababuge inzao e Afrika la kona banga printa kona njomba e simles group e inema items la manye ndile wenda ago yende ma passport yende ma ITs, yenda tindoleti yendi, babuge ilocation, lapu banga tilocator kona, wendele wewe guti, basi banga tilocator ke lapu, teba useva live, bapinze baseve, nalamanye emave kurichi ni njoba, sikuluma nge original cooperation ni begune. Ingwe nyama ipinze, ya mema longel swati kuti lende strinsego kuti tia kubega hane kungetega tingapani tepkwe pesha litita hugwa kanegisa hagule nzao ye biotechnology park eno guane. Lenza ole na ingulu lukusho kuti lomsebendi waga simles au itati yonge lenza au utata njinza au leyo leti teleta wenela lomsebendi Lugusho uti njoba lenza ule na stoye tfula esi veni. E maswati, apegegi ilegwe uti akamge ni ma investment. La makulu, la gu high tech industry. Njoba gui biotech park. Guhambelana na yoge ma high tech industries logo. La bonala uwe uti ni ma turn over akona. Askulumje ngeti mwashana le tkanyana. Begunene, skuluma ngetulu, na skuluma ngema tenova, sbuga ipilio ni tenova. Le skulume la geito, wegusi, ne maswati, ngeleo na lelo lswati, alhambe, liyoti ngeela, albuye nengapale, taubuye ilanyelo la pakuseche ndwe, begunene. Umsani shwa njuu na nguu, ubonge silo semsaba nge gusugu misa umsebendi wa so ngondro ngondro, i Royal Science and Technology Park, jengoba titelo tebusanga ni bengwe nyama seti veleti ya bona gala. While many people didn't understand the vision and the value of a science park, you were ahead of your time with the vision, your majesty, and ensured that... This facility that we are in today is established. We have started seeing the benefits, even though we are still in the process of putting up all the necessary infrastructure 
for the park to be fully functional. We do not have even the slightest doubt, Your Majesty, that once this facility and the entity are fully functional, the country will reap the fruits of the huge investment that the country has made here. Lowen Gamele and Gapani, yes, him legs, Albert Carawazan, who vetil a good tea, but for what Dega Kulu, good out seven da even the Swatini, what can be San Aguti, but Alban be San and Ahul Mende Wembo Bem. For more than thirty years, we have been advising and collaborating different government in Europe, Africa, and America. In the biometric identification and production of security document, we have successfully delivered turnkey solution to over 20 countries with international technology standards. We're proud to say that Semlex is fully independent when it's developing system, producing security document, and to our commitment to delivering. Sikabage, Sokala Salom Sebendi Sipe Uti, Sibite, a Mayuro, Latikitiletina Mashum Lamane, Edintabeni, Viga Polile, Mazia, and Noguane. The Tigoleta Sakaya, Selki Pes, Memetelo Mailana, Gretful Wa, Gretty Pego, Tenguanya, my cousin Swat to a start. The Tigolitia came in Lema Cosi, Liat for Gotang Memetela, where good soon Tribello, Wam Shatting, and Mashumi Lama Billing, Mabasa. So be we could see Abelusugu, Lueti Pego, Lom Trimbu, Tau Banjel, Wai Holeni, a man vulu, as Goldwyn Galozita. Gumenu a song as if as a Maswati would see as Pelling a Tinkani, Tau Shangel and Lema Cosi, Lulsugu. Sivers Kutsatwa would say si pati tipo, le tia wet full wa and gosini. Les memetelos kishwe in vuna, yel tigo leta se kaya umtonishwa mangoba kumar. Gwalomusle in vuna yel tigo leta se kaya mman and gosi, princess lindi. As was tobegana to Tinsabal Pini Land Vunan Kuru Lit Solumen Deng Bambisana and Tinsang what's let us lugene, unem seven dilom cool we twin sagisa in salagatia lo long kel swati, sugela kban vla batsala, kuya glaba kubate gile. Mtonishwal pin land vunan kulu, bega kulumanges katia, vaga shell el kale, el salal chahal el kubate gile, masai seen. Le obvious el pinland vunangul, le holong yom shanishwal pinland vunanguli tul sile dalang ale satvu. Le sugumela hambang mkomo ale lovis, weg nagegela la bakuba te gile, banfu la batzala, banfana na labo la besuele, la hambela imiti lembalo es funzen sa se shiselweni. Um shanishwal pinland vunangulu tul sile dalla, u kazang ale minye imiti lai vaga shelling ale langa, u fare kat lo wel jahal el kuba te gile, la se masse sini, na pansi kum paratu aga dovunga, let zanga lusito nalo. Ingwe nukunenza ula po kwa ngeskati salo za mtololo mkulu kwa lima latinu. Besi obuga kona age kutisikone kutisibasite za kanza vele kutu au kuna mtulo mtala na makote. Nebanfana kepa vele emanla weko. So in two years kwendega sitabalungsela nabo. Sasege sese nkundi na sema seisini. La posie kona lumduana babili do mfana uga fumtu siswa ke utisu wahamba ufuna umsebendi. Sikanzege la poguti sebazi baba susi lele la po baba sala kona. Lumduana so ngege kulumunye umuta. Sika kondo gofe wamba takifige givele. Kanzi vele nje. Uh, siku ne, batita siku nesu mtisifiki ngomba vile kutu luna lilikai. Sakanza kutu mparati, so mtulili nzao na po sita makela kona. Ente eme yuta ukala njima sinyane, aibege indu kutilu mpana apume, asale laika gubo. Sita pinze futi simnige netimbuti letimbili, kutakone kufuya fuya. Sititege sita pinze simnu ngusele nenzao la pata uli makona uma sikala lhlobo sase sesihamba sekulo mnyumuti eh lapho ke ngilapho sikhanze khona ukuthi lo mthana khona akaphila phile kahle nabo bahanjelwa nguninina uyiso wabo bathabaza ngese bambone unadzadze wabo naye eh lo wahamba ufuna ematoho nakhona le ndzawo vele yalambamba mbamba kepha nakhona sitababekela leyondlu kutsi bakhone kuhlala 
bawucine lomntu wakubo umhloni Charles Pillan vunangulu uthi ulisile dlala uchubeke wacela wancusa esivenze maswati nakubo soma business netinhlangano etimele kuthi timbambise hulumende kunaka nekucinisekisa inhlala kahle yemaswati yevene yathi ndizabente eSwati TV kubika samkelisu ekhoza ngathemba shabangu navusi mpamali emazeisini Infuna el tigo lete mfunvo mshonishwa owe ngumalo iti tikolo hati tinga kubambisana ni mimango ni mapoisa kula gene kutetza buke benge tikolo en petoleti i gangsterism. Infuna be kuluma ngeskazi vaga shele skola le spageme saga londundu malapo uguvele kona kuti wanzile, wanzile gelo mkuba we gangsterism. Infuna el tigo lete mfunvo mshonishwa owe ngumalo ahamba nilbanda le tamga gile tigo Kufaka ekhatsi bahloli nebaphathi betemfundwe etifundzeni uvakashelele sikolo lesiphakeme saka lo ndunduma emotshane lapho thisho lanhloko wa lesikolwa futhi idlamini etfule tinginga letibhekene na lesikolwa bugebeng busihlasele bantwana kuna gangsterism kuna naglo kuthwat nombolo bo 26 nabo 28 bantwana baba violent babe violent lengaphandle they affiliate to certain groups babuye ngekhatsi bato recruiter Yes, ne go vandalize like a school property. I think, it, but see, it's part of a membership. Go funa njubel kawe, ube ne man la usaji. In funa iti gole ten phone from Shalisha Owen Mumalo. Iwe kuti lo mku ba ya se ite la gubambi sana wale schoola ne mango kanya ne mbutu mbu benesive. The state biga buye in funa kuri ya kulu ni lale kebe ni vanfana. Eh, la basu pa go school weni. Ebangwe <laughs> Ekinzabente ya Swati Ntifi kubiga samtel suwe koza kando nduduma. Aglogunye nfuna ilitiko lete mfunvo mshonishwa owe ngumalo iti uisugumele inzaba ekututufugi sati funvo tema kono iti kolueni. Nfuna bai kuluma eskolo ili spage eme sase mochane nga skati ili skolo wa skupa lusugule makono la popa funzi bali skolo wa bakangi sekona ngini kikito ya abo kufaka ekati infuyo. Ndunangulu aga ina kepinet babege imali lenga lenga tu wa 6 million kukini sa dona te makono kena vile ikubegele krivok eh vile usubugele lenza opuzi yanzi sempane nkosi ba kubege bawe nde la makono bese nishi itoge lo kutsi ikebine tibu sisi lo kutsi fele eh Lambda tema kono bulani la ma cooperatives. Nibe ne account ye. Le nigu kiki tago, nigu fage gule account. Mshonomasen kumile, nga kona gusin sangane, ni twole imali, ku resident development fund ku tonishwa. Si kubege, si pile. Namutan just no kutsatang tema kono, u de lugu yele sitele la. Ale parlamende le nkundla se mocha na umsoni shwa wotin kambu le iti ngete makono mima ngu nete mfunvo di atfutuga. Niwe kuski funvo le tau nenda nan pumala ni kale ma pismis. Sinebe si sho hech, thorax, abdomen, nan amta gusit. Kesha le le niwe go naban vabami kuyas chablisa. Nalo kutinje kukalwe wa talibeno. Inkosi ya busisa, hulmende lo tanda zelwe, lo ketwe nkulungu lwa leta imbe nvule siveni. Kute siveni ya lo sarangu wa nilisa ukala. Ngoba hulmende uya la lela apinzu ya aspendu le jongwa uskali. Logo siya kubonga kakulu minister usbonga ilifuti na gulabata ala. 
Potokotela labange na mingele Doctors Without Borders babungate lusugu ulwe MSF Scientific Days Southern Africa le mnyaka wa 2024. Nelsuge luanga le satwe hotela le Hilton. Nifuna iltiko le tempi ilo mtuni shwa mtutuzi matsebula. It's iltiko kumele libugete imi komo ya abo eksebenda. Kutini suwe tinta ngozi le tibanga kukupuga welizi nga le banfu laba pila netifo tabo HIV. Bumla fuza ganye ne tuberculosis. Matsebula uti Tigo liti misele kumige salsito lolo tuwele na lolo ngilo. Tungufu ya ngasikasileska atlege la kona zbona. Tinombo lo tenyunga. Temanfu laba kulako. Ika kulunga lolo kulunyonga kuna mtala. Lolo kufake kasi tifo tel kans. Lebesa skaba nga kutiseti ngolo. Kepake tumbo lo tia chen siti ya pagango. Kumitwa kwa kesbuke kubuka kutisikula manye mafe bati sebende njani. Neko kutisi ngatini sanga kupi. Tini soku ni ngilo kubanga le tifoleti. Mbati ya bonanga la kusitiseti nza wen la kona kine bandula bani nkona. Njenga la pakumbo matapa. Nombolo chengisa kupagamo. Kusho wekusu msebendo ili tigo mning. Ne msebendo ya mmango nje mning. Mba. Loku sifigisa la kufake kazi kona. Simo se mnotu. Kwa vela la nangu kutu kanza kukutu mundu so utenza. La tute nangu. Kuzi akone kpila. Lo kubangela tona le tifo kusite nyuge. Bese kubangela ne kukwa kwe tisu. Na le tini tifo lwa bese kukulisa le peden. Ya le budget. Ya ka health. Kutise kufuneki miti. Kufuneka kulapo shwe. Ne tindu le besi ngatifikela. Kungaba kumusa jesven. Kukutu slale ngendombi. Sizame ne kumipisa. Tindu le singa kona kutinga pisa. Sifigele la kona. Singa figele la kona. Sisebendi ise lo kona, lo kuna kona kuzifigelisa. Kuzi sto kona kuna pisa le tifo, le se tilang le ganga. Nifuna ya masigo ni banfula basha, umso nishwa abu nganzi, maiti hulumende kumele atini ise kute makono, eba funzi ka kule tukolwe, ngoba insha inga pila nge makono. Nifuna ya kuluma a house on fire, umai sugumisa ipush fire schools festival nga le sato. Ikuruma na isugu misa ipush fire schools festival in vuna ya masigo neba nvula basha wa mtle nishwa bonga ni nzima iti. Ema kono alitara in nzima lengulu kumelega triniswe neba nvula basha basa bende nga makono abo. Si chable la kubaba kuloncha le schools push fire, si sapote baka iyo. Nasi buka gathe i talent ye tu si live, i kamunga kona la tikolwe. So if si investor ka kulu, si tutuki se makono ya tikolwa, si abona a brighter future, normally liksa salitaba li selita amera kulu ka kulu ngoba. Bonge la bage baga kona, les baboni le gule gule tega arts, normally gule tema sigo, veles baboni ba vela kona ya tikolwe. So si akchabe la ka kulu ka kulu ngoba ndere pushfaya na mwoshi. Ika kuluka kulu si lalele esbaye nbantu emasu wakina wakuluma. Lwa wuti afuna si zame kusapota initiative ya ka art. So si kanzele kumutu wakulu wuta si banike tele lituba la banga kona kona guri hesa. Bago wati kwe wuti batole otonge le timfani le otegu sebendisa u music no magileo ateabo. Bago tole kona le art center. Tifunze ndabo, so logo si pichabila kakulu, kakulu, si kubega na decentralization. Nisangano ya mawa laba mtope European Union, yonaga isagelele schools festival, nge mali lenga malanga ini langa half weskiti. Everybody will bring their fire. We make sure that as many students as possible, we bring that fire this year. Always we try to alternate so we get access to the EU schools, Bushfire Schools Festival, every year, different children from different parts of the country can come and witness the wonder of art, can come and bring their talent, perform, dance, sing, do pantomime, and make this day a real, real treasure. Chumalova uti ema kono, naga lulongiwe, anagelelo, angawenda umeshugo bambula basha edu kolweni, Nalasa bakitetile bati pilisa nga makono abo. Ipushwa Schools Festival ita utkala mtlaka 30 enyange ni letago emnyake nilo setulu. Etinzabeni nga nguki ya ni msibi titombe ang solisan mabuza na no malungelo jele. Emal Kenz.
Board of Directors, Management and Staff of Royal Eswatini National Airways Corporation, Reynak, join His Majesty King Mswati III in Lovugazi and the entire Eswatini nation in celebrating His Majesty's 56th birthday. May Your Majesty and our great kingdom ascend to new heights of success. Hala Lambangazita. With profound honor and jubilation, the Board of Directors, Management and Staff of Eswatini Scaffolding extends its hearty accolades and esteemed birthday wishes to His Majesty the King on the remarkable occasion of his 56th birthday. May His Majesty's reign continue to inspire greatness and prosperity for the nation. Mildalo, so when you swung a look some set fan, Kutsalwano, M. Dalo, M. Paisigi, Lilo, Tuanga, Gutsi, Imvelo, MTP, Classic Race, M. Yaga, twenty twenty four. As Galum Kutsalwano, as a Galway net bank, as what Dini, a Mali Lemo, three hundred thousand, a Malaga. So when you swung a look some set fan, Kutsalwano, M. Paisigi, Imvelo, MTP, Classic, M. Yaga, twenty twenty four, as a Galway Panga, a net bank, a Mali Lang, three hundred thousand, a Malanga name. A Kulumaglum Kimbum, Patswell Pange, Lenet Bank, Figil and Corsi, where Casa was a Kubega and Exagalum Kutzelana, Queen Lela, El Pange, Ectrui Salum Laluma Paisig, La Paveni. A Logogutsi, Sisters Figella, Kung Logogutsi, Sia Tonsaga Kul, Logotilum Sabendi, Ushoxini, a Gulli Venagangua, Iga Kulem Notren Wagangua, Nascana Lom Sabendi Sabendi Sana, Na Big Game Parks, Sabuga Gogutsi, Sifuna Gutsi Sizus, a tin for the Latin Tat, Yokala, Bessie Buga Gogutsi, Sifole Gogut, Emma Swat, a corner who turns a Lom 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 Chago, Wema Paisigi, Beguva Megogutsi, Nasukala, Begutsi. A linen law, Beguta, Beguban, Besquashland, and Alamani, a mav, a mass of the Begal Lanza. Sars a push, I would say, eh, man, a mass of the out hands. A sixty bony leg of woods, Gulom Yagalopolis, bony mass of the now, a sec veles, a precious newola, la hamba, MB, Linan, Gulom Seben. William Kelly Losaban, Big Bang, and Gamel and Shan, and Jaroma Paisi, Lubong and Gakul, Lil Pang. Wakuzata and Maswati would such to beg and genele to Tolano being in Tibao. Sikaranja would such a little to a bong in Ned Bank would say Munyara was twenty by supporter in Velo and said to water a full sea association. Kulane Gama Lubuketic Mangeta, Pickin Parks, Lapocona, Lum Kuzulano, Tobangelo Cona. Casa with Slum Kutulano, Kumba, Kulas Billy, Nagubo, and Miral and Julile. And the single became Paxi Logosia Bonga Kulu, and the seven of us is an event to Slum Yara Salzamabuzi, as in Yusama service, who by event to the Taukana Buzi, the Katata Shelle, and Maswati, and the Badabas Vashel, who by event to the Lexama Kurang and my event a mountain bike, who by also a Kurang in Nedbank, and Swati Nevel mountain bike classic. Kutzelan Tabangetika Valetin, low sixty five kilometers, thirty five kilometers, twenty two kilometers, Kaini twelve point five kilometers Ganzi, Uta Bandrum Shara eight, in Yanga in Slava, Gulum Yalo Setulu, Kona M. Liluane. The Vilum Sarat is what in TV Timilalong Linda Jaminigan, Zumbi Gutan, Zung for Prism Sonera, and Baban. The Swat, what's all that marriage that we have to wear with Lelo? Good listeners, cards in a pantle wallets. About research, eh? Buffoons, eh? Being risky means we're not going to go away. We're going to go away. Now, it's not saying that we're going to go away. We're going to go away. We're Renewal of TV licenses for 2024 is now open. Here is a quick reminder. A viewer's TV license costs 180 MLN per device. 
Other accessories such as decoders and set-top box cost 50 mlangeni per device. For traders and repairers, TV license costs 300 mlangeni per business area. And now, to pay your TV license, use these following methods. You can use MTN Mobile Money with the number 76222000 or dial star 007 star 3 star 7 hash or you can use Eswatini Imali. And you can pay our T license at any post office in the country. Another option is you can use any NetBank branch using our TV license account number 11990043037. Don't forget, when paying for your viewer's TV license, reference with your PIN at all times. And when paying for a retailer TV license, reference with your TIN at all times. For more information, call us on 7802-4543 or 34050163 or 34020879. And you can send us a WhatsApp message on 76 Welcome back. Yesterday, the MSF Doctors Without, Without Borders hosted a scientific day where they shared abstracts on how science and research has informed most of the initiatives by MSF. MSF International Stakeholders, Ganye Nahulumenda. I'm joined by Louise Naira, who is the head of mission in MSF Eswatini, to talk about um, projects that have been uh, you know, implemented by MSF in the country in the health sector. Very good morning and welcome. Thank you for joining us. Uh, perhaps before we get into the scientific day that you hosted yesterday, um, you could give us a history or background of MSF in Eswatini. When did your doctors start to work in Eswatini? Good morning. Thanks for the invitation. Um, yes, MSF has been present in Eswatini for more than 20 years, mm -hmm. uh, working uh, mostly uh, on the, the topic of HIV and tuberculosis, uh, initially in the area of uh, Ciselweni, um, with a base in Langano and running projects uh, around that area that help to tackle the, the issue, the problem of HIV and uh, diseases uh, related to, to mm -hmm. the, that problem. Um, last year, uh, I mean, we ran, we ran the project until last year when it was uh, handed over to the Ministry of Health uh, to continue running it uh, successfully after 20 years. And from last year, we uh, started a new, a new area of intervention, a new project in, in the area of uh, Mancini and Matsapa mm -hmm. uh, to tackle the problematic of sexually transmitted infections and the um, or other uh, issues related to this problem. Yeah. So in the past 20 years, uh, what would you what would you say your achievements have been, and also your challenges? I know that you have you are in the health sector, so you know uh, you may have faced challenges like you know HIV, TB, malaria, and also that you do community visits. What is the situation on the ground? It's definitely. Uh, I think the, the the great success that the the project had in uh, Shiselweni area, the uh, tackling was to help uh, reducing the burden of, uh, of HIV in, uh, in the area and in the country in general. Now we saw during these 20 years how numbers decreased, uh, thanks to the work uh, not only of MSF, but it was a joint uh, exercise with different stakeholders, with the Ministry of Health as well. Uh, that helped to bring down the, the big numbers of HIV and also, uh, as I said, uh, other pathologies related to the HIV, like tuberculosis, uh, mm. to bring them down. That was a big, big achievement. Um, and challenges, just like in, in many places, is how to access the population, how to convince people uh, to come and take the treatments and all that. But again, it was a very, very big effort uh, from, from all the stakeholders and, um, and with very success, uh, very big success at the end. 
Okay, so let's talk about the scientific day that you hosted yesterday. You had gathered um, government officials, the Ministry of Health, and other stakeholders, um, you know, to tell them about researches that you have conducted. Tell us more about this scientific day and why is it necessary? Scientific day is uh, a an event that MSF uh, organizes every year in different uh, parts of the of the planet, in the mm -hmm. regions where we have operations. Um, the one that we held yesterday here in Eswatini is the one uh, uh, for Southern Africa region. Mm -hmm. And, and this, uh, this uh, scientific day is a platform that helps researchers uh, from MSF uh, and sometimes from out of MSF as well that we invite to present uh, abstracts uh, for their, and with results uh, and uh, advances they uh, reach. Uh, through investigation, through research in different areas of health. No? Can be mm -hmm. uh, from malaria to HIV, passing through tuberculosis and many things. Yeah. Um, the one we had yesterday, as I said, was focused on, on uh, problematics that affect this region of, uh, of the planet, the southern of Africa. And that uh, it was especially interesting for, uh, for Eswati. We, we had abstracts on topics like uh, sexually transmitted, transmitted infections, tuberculosis, HIV, mm. um, and, and helps providing information that uh, shows uh, in, a, in a scientific way mm -hmm. how to, to improve, how to rationalize services, how to uh, improve diagnostics and treatments for uh, the, the pathologies that affect most uh, this area of the planet. Yeah. So these ab abstracts do, do help inform service provision? In a absolutely, absolutely, mm -hmm. because some uh, results are, are uh, showing how to improve, again, the, the diagnostics, the treatments, how to rationalize uh, use of drugs, especially antibiotics in, in, in the cases that, that we saw yesterday how to reduce cost and optimize the services for the population. No? And it can serve, mm -hmm. I mean, all these results can serve for ministries of health of different countries uh, to look at those results and maybe to adopt some of those strategies or approaches that, uh, that we can show and we can demonstrate through, through science, through research. Okay. I know that you deal with a lot of issues in the health sector and also I would like to know what was your response as Doctors Without Borders, you know, during COVID in 2020? Uh, MSF had a strong response uh, everywhere in the world where we, where we could uh, work on that, um, supporting uh, the countries, uh, tackling the, the, the problematic. No? So depending on the places, we provide the, the services to um, help with complicated cases in some yeah. places. Uh, we provide the, the human resources and, and support uh, ministries of health on running the, the pandemic. No? It was new for everyone, it was also new for us, so we mm -hmm. learned a lot during mm -hmm. the process. But I think uh, we had some uh, very successful results in some places. Okay, so what's, what is your vision as the MSF, Doctors Without Borders, as we have entered 2024? Um, I understand that you have recently launched your clinic in Matapa. Um, what would you say is your vision and mission as the Doctors Without Borders this year? Yes, as you said, uh, we started a new clinic um, after working with HIV for so many years and handing mm -hmm. over uh, to, to Ministry of Health. We started with a new problematic uh, that is the sexually transmitted infections no? mm -hmm. that we saw through some studies that uh, we ran um, that is, uh, is a problematic in some areas of the country. So we are supporting uh, running a clinic. Uh, we are running an MSF clinic, it's our mm -hmm. own clinic where we are trying to demonstrate new, new, new ways of uh, diagnosing and treating uh, sexually transmitted infections, no? and also mm -hmm. pathologies related to them, also providing mental health, a lot of health promotion and health education, going into the communities and engaging communities uh, to, to come closer to us, to help us design our projects and to understand better the, their needs uh, uh, okay. to provide a better, better way of treatment. So that's, uh, that's what we are going to focus this year in, uh, in Eswatini, mm -hmm. in this area. Uh, plus, uh, we will also uh, start soon uh, support on intensive care uh, level two, just the, the level before uh, uh, intensive care unit is called high dependency unit, where we will help again uh, to run this uh, unit, uh, to settle, to, to set up 
um, to treat patients uh, with complications uh, in, in the different diseases All before right. they reach the intensive care. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. You. Louise Nara. There you have it. Skuluma uh, James Sebendi, Lian Dui, MSF in Eswatini Doctors Without Borders. They hosted their scientific day yesterday with government, health officials, and other stakeholders. Let's take a break. Nasu Yasi Kulmisana Na Temba Kumalo is the managing uh, director at EPTC. <laughs> Welcome to the ultimate guide to your weekend entertainment. Get ready to groove with us as we bring you the hottest music videos and exclusive interviews with your favorite celebrities. Experience fresh music videos from new releases underground sensations and emerging talent whether you're hip-hop i'm a piano or afro we've got something for everyone And if you've missed out on any of the excitement, oh, 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 we've got you covered. Join us for an electrifying journey through the music scene. Relive the magic and get inspired for your next weekend adventure. Bizing ya di Buddha, bizing ya di Penya, bonke kwa mikya kalela, bineng ya di So tune into this weekend as Swadini for a weekly dose of music, entertainment, and unforgettable experience. Get ready to groove because the weekend starts here. You can be stuck on you. Come on, it's a simple song. Sing with me. Say, you can be stuck on you. Welcome back. You're still tuned into Eswatini TV. We'll be speaking to the managing director at Eswatini Post and Telecommunications. The EPTC announced that the corporation is rebuilding its infrastructure and that it has made significant progress in its efforts to become the country's leading broadband provider. The MD Temba Kumalo joins us now to talk about the corporation's major achievements and also shed light on Emma challenges. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Perhaps in Jessing, I tell them to be able to achievements. As I put it, we link up and go back on them achievements and also challenges as well. What would you say have been the achievements of APTC? As long as I call them, sorry, the same company, my post, net in Lingo. See, net water and gulu would see success figures gaben so good to see talum seventy, long cool as even. The Wakarabu shall posse a sprinter see improve a mass services, Lyle Macasment a two a gangwan. In actual would see Sibin and Sansa would see will mend a June twenty twenty three. Where so you are seeing nearly approval, a good passisa our strategy would see Anjani Pambi. Let's see what Bagbita would see a turnaround strategy. A low work who would see a little posse, little hambanja and we are pumping who's a lucky infrastructure, little supporter live a Kikutan economy. Are you here pumping? Still posse in a telecommunications, Guanyalo, see Sugeti Kabatin be an elegant posse. Could still posse in Obasia to good see a Saba Wonke in Saba, eighteen months as a very little Bandabasa Palika cool, Yonkin to say Bella digital era. Says I mean, they would still possibly transform in a cart, the change. Good to the mass systems are a bit digital. Malabaguenda would support this digital era. Things are let into the seven that will be possible. 
ukuthi vele singene kakhulu lapha ku ma financial services mm-hmm. uh, support futhi nema bank nema insurance companies ukuze mm-hmm. lepo libe relevant les events emaswathi ningasho lokuthi lokho ningizokuqalile ke bhake lesi tawungena kuko lokusha lomnyaka ningasho ukuthi indzaba yema digital payments Okay. Digital payments are now going to be there. Lange kasi posi nguze na atis buwati kuti lesi kwenda ago kusugela e patale ni kyo figa kilo msewe nesuwe lange kasi fili kube fully digital support ili maswati agwa atu kusewe nisa li kusewe zingi ndel pambi. Mm. E, msewe nisa mwuti kakulu ya pwanya li vele e, inle la ibo ufugi ya pambi li kuti sikitrite li post li lisha as events ya maswati. Ngibuja ka telecommunications ke. Telecommunications e, Nakona hulmende usipasisele le plan le apambi le turnaround strategy. Na lepe le, le, le siku pegi ile nge kase posi ni abe segul kuhunu. Nge e, katele communications. The infrastructure ye le taki wotetu. Sipese titi nzala. E, umati titi nzala nje i technology hambi le apambi le. Pe segul kuhunu lo uti si igwa ati igu mita la ma expectations ya makasment. Mm. E, Uzuboye la mani nge se basi bale gele baya nga le bo mobile. E, baya gile tinye titi nzala uge pangisi au namhla lunyawo liya change eh lesi sicale kwenda ke posini kubili eh ka telecommunications jalo eh sibonela ukuthi ke technology seyahambile yephambili indzaba yelithusi yabo copper isibisele muva eh isehlulile nokusehlula ngendzaba yokugebe ngento okukhona esiveni namhlaba wonke sesiseke asicalela ukusha vele singene ke wireless le nike ma services lengaphandle ingasapho ukuthi elicingo lodwana po internet Eh, ne ma fast digital connection lines kuza kuti tinga mpanti sebe ntinga tukwe pesh. Okay. Si ya buya kefuse si tiga asbege le lugu usha tuwa optical fiber. I cable le sebenda ma pant lewe kopa i plastic. Okay. Nomu hai chuba au watu nosu nga indani i vede itfala lugu communication ni kpela. Aina hai resale value e magete. Nomu hai indani vede info lenga si i futuristic. Masifaka na mtlanje umtlaba wonke. So optical fiber. Mm. The Rangu and the Gangeta Lassar and the Big First World. The Sukfara Waka would see a highway year to telecommunications, even like the First World. Star Wadi would still posse and the telecommunications in getting a two lemma services. Langata Pampi of Quepesha, things about the more contents in Ashwanja would see Namfia Bona would muse Kaima Vinda Mani, Kufira Les Tombes, a Moya, ETV, Kufirum Sarato, and a cable Yakulis and Lee. Since the Nazis figure the Soskaba, in Ashwanja would sing a good. About 6, businesses were connected to optical fiber. Okay. 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 Bomba and Bomans in the city, Velet Nalin, Gia, Sukia, Chonjolanga pass, the Lutus, El Balzats. Sitalegam Egamans in Safari and Solid Decade Segil, Safari Optical Five and Solid in Tart. Nothing just Talimat, a coats valuable matons, as a Buya Muma Lung, such as Gana Line Industrial Area, Matsapa Yongan. They end up to ninety five per cent in Matsapa, fully connected on the digital highway, the optical fiber. In Gambani, let the Nema services, the Besetting Echo, the Abuya, we are a pretty thing over. We are the providers. Emma services, love very important as if then. Cats Nale Zing, the Machages, the Pass a posting over Zing Gambani, your Maswati, your Sive, Quaka Live, Lenguena. Yeah, Jungo Utazanje, Baba Kumala Vele, Linda by Copper Theft, in Buzele Movan, in EPTC, with a diligence about Dolo Vele, with a press conference, Logoti, Nila Telema Customer, Lamaning, Inga Begonga Sitanga, and Vele Logoti, because his villain Logoti, the advocate Logoti, Copper Theft, a recognized as a national emergency. Inga Vele Mclambe, Logo Gunga, and Bambisanga, and Ninga Pan. I am Sarati, since I am the Sinza Kakul. Lena in the Valetale, saying his cart is if a little upper EPTC, the Mangamba and La Maila Corners event. 
Tinege and Wootsy Fellow Coot, Limata Band, Lumatsuga Shisana, Gabba Limata Langmanani, a macable letter. Fell the sea target, but Velevati Vunel. I would say passionate by a funage. A Lestuka old man, the Nema, Neba, the Takim said for Wootsy, Cotrini Sway, Cocalange, a unsaid for Locones even. Goods in Laba Laba Banjuago, but who knew? I was told as Vivian Gapalogum dog. Nalaba but to me, there was a whole lazar lecop. Baba <laughs> A good man, this is cool me in a ministry at your ICT. He has Bambisa. Because a wacky or long set for Lomusha, Babambi sending a good man in a cabinet, can in a legislature as a parliament. Gonna very say in for the sea, Funagu Putunua, Nebusheshisa, Gungalan Zelinja, the Tile Gilwood, and do over three, no more five years. Funasa Gwendiwa, no kitchen, over leaf. Subisa <laughs> There is a bit of a whistle blowing line. Low zero eight hundred two three two three. Sorry, eight hundred two three two three. Here is a band. Kepa equals the name of the corner. This is a band. 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 This is Igabil, my big ma poison, Kepa Uma Sab, I'm clambung a cool legan, my shall the line then show la eight hundred two three two three U big I would see in Lue Bonago, Yenduang Bani, we end a whoop. Okay, no, give us one colo. Um Mr. Kumangabala my changes lower villas na cala ni gua bona just transformation uh kona ga IPTC. Um say Velitali Lem Sarati, says Villas see Hampa Nyao Lucia, and show you good see it in Zawini tickets a gile. So, we have to go to the advanced services. We have to go optical fiber. We have to go to the permission of the investor. It's a big investment. We have to go to the billion over the next five to seven years. So, we have to go to the ICE infusion. We have to go to the company. Quacker and Alien Company, why not? It's a bend in a cassi, being a boy, and I'm a system like Kuneta Emma Casman de Lena Punch. So, who punch is so anyway, both got postal, Naga Telecommunications. Okay, yeah, yeah, twenty twenty four, Vil Utani Timanga, September would say, need to summon Daga, Mr. Kumal and Nisa, Zamogo Fez and J. Emma Pupo Enu, Ning and Capan, and Santi Vele and Bugeli, EPTC is transforming. Uh, they are rebuilding their infrastructure and also advancing their technologies as a company. So, in a sense, Are you ready to own your future? Boto University Eswatini Campus is proud to announce a golden opportunity for aspiring students. I am more convinced that this is the best university on the face of the planet. Boto University Eswatini is fully registered and accredited by Eswatini Higher Education Council and has opened doors to offer enrollment for government-sponsored students. At Boto University, we believe in empowering minds, nurturing talents, and shaping the architects of a future prosperous Eswatini. We produce quality graduates who propagate the growth and development of our region. With our world-class faculty and cutting-edge resources with international partnership and student exchange program, you'll receive an education that goes beyond textbooks. Boto University offers a four-year bachelor's degree in business, accounting, 
computing, mobile computing and network security and computer forensics, as well as health information management. Boto University. Vibrance. Innovation. With profound honor and jubilation, the Board of Directors, Management and Staff of Eswatini Scaffolding extends its hearty accolades and esteemed birthday wishes to His Majesty the King on the remarkable occasion of his 56th birthday. May His Majesty's reign continue to inspire greatness and prosperity for the nation. The Board of Directors, Executives, Management and Staff of Inyati Group Holdings extend their warmest birthday wishes to His Majesty King Mswati III on his 56th birthday. As the cornerstone of our nation's progress, may your reign be marked with prosperity, unity and enduring strength. Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. Let's take a look at international news this morning. Palestinian health officials and Hamas media said an Israeli airstrike had also killed 11 Palestinians, including children, in the Al Maghazi refugee camp in the central Gaza Strip. At the Al Aqsa Hospital of Deir al Bala, Wafa lost her husband and young son to fresh Israeli airstrikes. <laughs> My son was playing by the door. We didn't do anything. I swear we didn't do anything. Authorities say the strike hit the Maghazi refugee camp in the centre of the Gaza Strip. People of the world, what is happening is wrong. Have mercy on us. Stop the war. Children are dying in the streets. Meanwhile, ground war continues. Israeli tanks have returned to Jabalia and Beit Hanun in the north of the Strip, where residents have reported internet outages. And the bombs are falling once again on Rafah, the southernmost point of the Strip. It's the last major city to be spared a ground invasion and the last refuge for more than half of the Gazan population, where terror now reigns of an impending ground offensive. What can we do if the Israelis arrive? Where can we go? The camps, parks and pavements are all full. There's no empty space. Allies have urged Israel to refrain from causing what the UN has said will be a humanitarian catastrophe. And public opinion is divided on the matter, with only 44% of Israelis expressing support for such an attack. But Israeli authorities remain unmoved, saying Rafa is the hideout of four Hamas battalions and that hostages are being held there. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen warned Tuesday of further sanctions targeting Iran following its unprecedented weekend attack on Israel, saying she expects Washington will take added action in the coming days. The EU is also weighing new sanctions against Iran, according to Foreign Policy Chief Joseph Borrell. Iran sent a barrage of drones and missiles into Israel over the weekend, although the strikes did little damage. The attack was a response to Israel's bombing of Iran's consulate in Damascus early this month. Now, Western countries are seeking to limit escalations of the regional conflict. Washington has been working to diminish Iran's ability to export oil. Expanded sanctions will also target Iran's missile and drone program, as well as the Revolutionary Guards and the Iranian Defense Ministry. 
the European Union is also exploring new sanctions, planning to expand its current regime intended to hamper Iranian production of drones to also include the production of missiles. In addition, the EU seeks to extend measures aimed at the supply of Iranian weapons to Russia to cover deliveries to proxies in the Middle East. The idea is to expand the existing Iran-Russia related drone regime. Iran has been under Western sanctions, especially those imposed by the United States, on and off for 45 years. In that time, Iran has become adept at trying to circumvent their effects through creating alternative economic relationships, notably with Russia and China. Israel is considering how to respond to Iran's weakened missile and drone strikes as the United States and its allies urge the government of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu not to escalate and risk igniting a wider regional conflict. On Tuesday, Israel displayed what it says is a ballistic missile it intercepted Saturday, one of the hundreds of missiles and drones launched by Iran in its first direct attack on Israel from Iranian soil. Iran said the attack was in response to an Israeli strike on its diplomatic building in Syria earlier this month. Israel has vowed to retaliate. Iran will face the consequences for its actions. We will choose our response accordingly. Israel reported only minor damage after it intercepted more than 300 Iranian missiles and drones with the help of the U.S. and regional allies. That suggests Iran's strike may have been calibrated to limit casualties. Analysts say Israel's counter-strike will likely target Iranian soil without killing civilians. And without that target being symbolic in a political sense that could embarrass the regime and make them feel that they need to escalate it further. So all these um, maneuvers are very, very carefully calculated and could easily go wrong. Israel could also opt for covert operations targeting Iranian officials or cyber attacks like the 2010 Stuxnet malware. They created a virus and then they injected it into an Iranian nuclear facility to, um, and actually made the centrifuges spin uncontrollably and destroyed like millions of dollars and slowed down the, the nuclear um, capabilities of, of Iran. Whatever option Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu decides on, President Joe Biden has told him the U.S. will not participate in Israel's counterattack and urge de-escalation. We don't want to see a war with Iran. We don't want to see a broader regional conflict. But that doesn't mean there will be no consequences. I fully expect that we will take additional sanctions action against Iran in the coming days. Netanyahu faces domestic pressure and international condemnation over the war in Gaza. Some are accusing him of intentional escalation with Iran, including Ayman Savadi, the foreign minister of Jordan, a U.S. ally that helped to protect Israel from Tehran's attacks. It is not secret that the Israeli prime minister's policy aims to expand the conflict in order to relieve the growing pressure on him globally as a result of the killing, war and destruction he is doing in Gaza. Other leaders have echoed calls for restraint. It's unclear whether Netanyahu will heed them. He has always wanted uh, to attack Iran, in particular to go after the Iranian nuclear sites. He may see this as his last opportunity to defeat all of Israel's enemies, uh, Hezbollah, Iran, you name it. Netanyahu again vowed Tuesday that he would defend Israel against Iran and its proxies. In late March, Russian shelling severely damaged Ukraine's largest hydroelectric plant. The attack on the Dnipro hydroelectric power station and dam in the frontline city of Zaporizhia is a challenge for locals and those living both up and downstream. After Russian forces shelled the Dnipro hydroelectric power station in March, a number of special commissions have visited the scene to assess the damage to the structure and the local environment. First is the energy element, which has been completely destroyed. And I have no idea how long it will take to restore. Specialists are working to analyze how extensive the damage is, but it will take months and millions of dollars. 
The power station was over 70 years old. Russian rockets shut down the plant and heavily damaged the Zaporizhia Dam and the roadway that run across the dam's summit. Half of the highway has been destroyed, and environmental experts are already working on a recovery plan. This is not going to be easy. It may be necessary to fully close the dam to restore it. Civilians like Daria, who did not give her last name, were also affected by the shelling. One rocket exploded at the base of an apartment complex near the dam. At first, it was like a fire show here. Everything happened so quickly. I was in the bathroom, then I came out and saw the blast like that. I ran out in just a nightgown and slippers. Honestly, it was terrible. Today, locals worry the entire dam might collapse. But experts say that's unlikely. Environmental experts are more worried about the people who rely on the dam to provide drinking water. Significant damage to the hydraulic unit of the dam and a drop in the water level under three meters will cause significant problems with the drinking water supply in the cities upstream, including part of the left bank of the city of Dnipro. The shutdown of the plant has meant other power-generating stations have to work harder to keep the lights on in Ukraine. The resignation of the United Arab Emirates attempted to dry out Wednesday from the heaviest rain ever recorded there after a deluge flooded out Dubai International Airport, disrupting travel through the world's busiest airfield for international travel. Caught out by highly unusual weather, these people in waist-high water attempt to push a car through a flooded Dubai street. The Middle East Financial Center was lashed by heavy rains Tuesday, submerging highways and flooding homes and shopping centers. Some inland areas of the UAE recorded more than 80 millimeters of rain in just 24 hours, nearly reaching the yearly average of about 100 millimeters. Dubai Airport, the world's busiest air hub for international passengers, was forced to briefly halt operations and divert incoming flights. Delays and disruptions continued on Wednesday. National carrier Emirates cancelled all check-ins from 8 a.m. to midnight as staff and passengers struggled to arrive and leave. Passengers arriving in Dubai and already in transit will continue to be processed for their flights. Customers can expect delays to departures and arrivals and are advised to check the latest flight schedules. Bahrain was also hit by heavy rains, with schools in both countries forced to close. It comes after storms battered Oman starting Sunday. More than a dozen people have died in flooding there, and authorities have used helicopters to pluck people from floodwaters. The Emirati Meteorology Centre warned storms would continue this Wednesday and urged people to stay away from severely flooded areas. U.S. presidential candidate Donald Trump is in a courtroom this week for jury selection in a case about his allegedly falsifying business records. Meanwhile, his opponent, President Joe Biden, is talking to voters about the candidate's competing visions of economic fairness. U.S. presidential candidates Joe Biden and Donald Trump had decidedly different schedules this week. Trump is in a New York courtroom facing 34 felony counts of falsifying business records. I don't know how you can have a trial that's going on right in the middle of an election. Not fair. Not fair. Biden's on the campaign trail near his childhood home in the neighboring state of Pennsylvania. Oh, Trump's trial involves him attempting to squash unflattering news stories during his 2016 campaign. Prosecutors say Trump falsified payments to a former lawyer to hide that the money was going to two women who said they had earlier extramarital sexual encounters with the then candidate. Trump has pleaded not guilty to the charges, and his lawyers argue the payments were legitimate legal expenses. Trump says tying him up in court is election interference by a weaponized judiciary. This is an assault on our country. As a country that's failing, it's a country that's run by an incompetent man who's very much involved in this case. This is really an attack on a political opponent. That's all it is. Trump does not have to testify at this trial, but former federal prosecutor Nyama Ramani thinks politics means he will. This case is as much for the courtroom 
as it is for the court of public opinion. And Trump is in the middle of an election year, and he will take the stand, and he will talk to the American people and those undecided voters. I think him asserting his right to remain silent, I think that will be used against him by undecided voters. With his opponent in court, Biden has the presidential campaign trail to himself. Donald Trump looks at the world differently than you and me. He wakes up in the morning in Mar-a-Lago thinking about himself, how he can help his billionaire friends gain power and control and force their extreme agenda on the rest of us. Listen to what he says. He says, quote, I'll be dictator on day one. Quote, I am your retribution. Biden said he and Trump have competing visions for the U.S. economy that raise questions of fundamental fairness. Folks, where we come from matters. When I look at the economy, I don't see it through the eyes of Mar-a-Lago. I see it through the eyes of Scranton, and that's not hyperbole. That's a fact. Where honesty and decency matter, where faith matters, where family is everything. Trump says being tied up in court while Biden is out campaigning is not fair. I should be right now in Pennsylvania, in Florida, in many other states, North Carolina, Georgia, campaigning. This is all coming from the Biden White House because the guy can't put two sentences together. He can't campaign. They're using this in order to try and win an election. Trump has squeezed in some New York campaigning around the trial, but his time in more competitive states appears, for the moment, confined to the weekends. Trump rallied supporters in Pennsylvania last Saturday and has a North Carolina event scheduled for this Saturday. The first seven jurors for Donald Trump's hash money trial were seated on Tuesday after lawyers grilled the jury pool about their social media posts, political views and personal lives to decide who can sit in fair judgment of the former president. Eleven more people still must be sworn in before opening statements begin as early as next week in the first criminal trial of a former U.S. president. First seven jurors selected for Trump's trial. Donald Trump sits in a Manhattan courtroom while his lawyers continue to question potential jurors. It's a process that's expected to last a week. Those dismissed were able to recount their experience. It was wild. Uh, it was... I, I, I really wish that I didn't have such a scheduling thing because it's it, history is being made. I said I could be impartial because I think that no matter who someone is in this country, the right to a fair trial is more important to me than my own particular feelings about that person. The judge had to give the former president a stern warning after he reacted to one of the potential jurors, saying he would not have anyone intimidated in the courtroom. Last year, Trump was charged with 34 felony counts of falsifying business records for his alleged role in a hush money scheme before the 2016 election. And while he was in court, President Joe Biden hit the campaign trail ammunition for the former president. I should be right now in Pennsylvania, in Florida, in many other states, North Carolina, Georgia, campaigning. This is all coming from the Biden White House because the guy can't put two sentences together. He can't campaign. They're using this in order to try and win an election. And it's not working that way. It's working the opposite way. For months now, Trump's team has pushed to delay the New York trial as part of a broader strategy to push back all four of his trials until after the 2024 election. Georgian lawmakers gave a first green light on Wednesday to a controversial foreign influence law that has sparked mass street protests over concerns it would undermine Tbilisi's European aspirations. Opposition deputies boycotted the vote and on Monday and on Tuesday night, thousands took to the streets to protest the draft law. Despite its unpopularity and fierce disagreement in Parliament, Georgian MPs have given the bill dubbed the Foreign Influence Law a first green light after opposition lawmakers boycotted the vote. They say the bill mirrors laws that Russia uses to stamp out dissent. How dare you? What have you, the Russian agents, to call this country's patriots, people who are defending the people and honour of this country for years, how dare you call them foreign agents? Put forward by Georgia's ruling party, the bill would oblige organisations to register as pursuing the interests of a foreign power 
if they receive more than 20% of their funding from abroad. It has provoked mass street protests in the Georgian capital. In chaotic scenes late Tuesday night, riot police clashed with the thousands of protesters, chasing and beating them and making arrests after they had gathered outside parliament. As you see, the majority of the society is against this law. But government does not care. And they, they are acting in the interest of the, of, of the Russian government. They also believe it would complicate Georgia's bid to join the European Union, which has overwhelming support in the country. And this law is a way of keeping Georgia in the Russian sphere of influence and away from Europe. The ruling party reintroduced the bill this month after dropping it last year in the face of protests, with the Prime Minister arguing the law is needed to ensure financial transparency and to combat pseudo-liberal values imposed by foreigners. It must now pass at least two more readings in Parliament, before likely undergoing a fourth to overcome a veto by the country's president, a critic of the bill. In Telangana State, India, a man is desperately trying to get his brother back from the front lines in Ukraine after he was duped into working for Russia during its invasion of the country. Experts explain why Russia is using such subterfuge in its war effort. Salman Zahur Syed says his younger brother was duped into working in the front lines for Russia during its full-scale invasion of Ukraine. He went to Russia after being promised a job as a labourer for the government, with pay of about $2,000 a month and possible Russian citizenship. When he arrived, he signed a contract. Then, things started to turn sour. When my brother and others realised what was happening, they were told they would have to fight when needed by the military, as they had already signed the documents. He says the contract was in Russian and there was no way his brother could have understood it. Although his brother is working in logistics and not in a combat role, he has been on the front line near Hassan and two months ago watched as more than 20 Indian, Nepali and Russian men were killed in a Ukrainian drone attack. According to analysts, hundreds of people from Global South countries like India, Nepal and Cuba have been duped into combat and non-combat roles for Russia and Ukraine. They also say that evidence shows Russia is ramping up this practice. Sometimes these methods resemble human trafficking and so on, because uh, Russians are, are, are uh, aiming for people who want to leave their country. The Indians, they were looking for some opportunities to leave India, and they were basically uh, lured, they were deceived. One expert VOA spoke to explained that it's common for nations at war to recruit from abroad, but her historical analysis of the past two centuries shows deceiving recruits into working in conflict zones is incredibly rare. And the reason they don't do that is it is so profoundly politically costly to your allies. You get horrible soldiers who have no desire to fight because they didn't want to come there to fight. So there's almost no meaningful return. To, uh, so it's, it's almost remarkable how rare this is and what that tells us about how, how much Putin believes what the Russian military can bring to bear in Ukraine and what it needs to be victorious, just how wide that gap is. As for Syed, he says his brother doesn't even know if he's been paid. They haven't had the chance to check if they have received any actual payments yet to their bank since they are quite far from civilization in the forest. The agents might have cheated them by giving incorrect bank details, too. Syed says the only way he can speak to his brother is when sympathetic Russian soldiers lend his brother their phones. It's 22 minutes after 7. We've come to the end of our uh, international news. Thank you for staying with us. After the break, we talk to sales support and marketing manager at MBVNI. Sending a letter, Malangela Marsh, Sia Kulika, good and long can live, and I'm having a fun, and I'm an eye of fish. 
corrida, corrida. Fiche sua parte. Um chalem ganhou. Ai, ele é salam ganhou. Aleluia. Ai, ele é spa. O que você quer o seu chique de lugar na rapa? O chique ele é ganhou. Ao gabo. O gabo. O poli chique ele é ganhou. Yangena Saturday half past four four thirty malangenda march. Yangena she. That's a look there. Look pizza. Now let's see. Now half past twelve. Here they they are the yours. Okay, but who has Kulu? Is marriage the prize? No. <laughs> Do I smash on the first day? Also, I don't have exes. I only have a current. My name is Mahu, get your beat down on Saturday. It's 25 minutes after 6. Welcome back to the program. We want to, it's 25 minutes after 7, pardon me. Let's welcome Nusi Poshonga from Eswatini Meat Industries. Uh, it's been the topic of conversation for at least now the past three weeks. And yeah, certainly, I welcome you to the program. A very good morning to you. Morning uh, to you happy too. to have you on the program. I'm happy to be here. And, too. I'm, and I'm sure I'm also excited to hear what it is that uh, you want to tell them today. I have questions for you because we've been hearing that MB van is bigger and better. Um, I really don't know what it is that they mean really, but uh, with you here today, you'll tell us what it is that it's meant by bigger and better. What is new MB van? MB van is, is, is a very old establishment that is renewing itself. We are currently on a drive to ensure that every homestead in this country has a piece of meat on its plate that is from MB van quality meat that is affordable. Mm -hmm. And today is about that. We've come to say Emma Swati should take a drive down to Matapa. We are changing the landscape of um, the industrial site. If you come down to our place, it's like entering a twilight zone. Right. And it's an experience that you can never forget. And what is good now, it is not just for commercial um, uh, or retailers. It is for everyone who eats meat. Or yeah. products. It's quite interesting because, as you say, you know, you're inviting people to drive down to Matsapa, and I believe you're speaking to those that are in Babane because those are driving down. Uh, there are <laughs> people in Manzini that will drive to Matsapa, not necessarily driving down there, but you're inviting them to come to Matsapa. But I've been hearing a lot of excitement, uh, you know, with Mbabane folk about a new establishment in Babane. Uh, um, MB Veni is, 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 is increasing its first footprint across the country. Right. Um, our plaza that we've recently opened, I guess, a few weeks ago in Mbaban, is just one of the landmarks that now exist that proudly boast um, the, 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 the great strides mm. that MB Veni or the Eswatini Meat Industries is taking Indeed. to ensure that all our products are accessible to all Emaswati. Mm. Please remember, we have a mandate as a company, as a country, to always ensure that we establish ourselves as first world entities. Yeah. And MB Veni is right on that track. We want to ensure that Emma Swati entirely in the whole kingdom 
enjoy good meat as well as prov get a provision of good services. Yeah. Our state of the art buildings are a profession of that. We have plazas scattered all over. Um, um, we have one recently across our meat factory, and then it's in Baba, and those are our two plazas. Mm. And then we have meat markets in Manzini. At the bus rank, we have another one that's in the prison center. We have one in Tlangano, mm -hmm. and another one that we have um, recently that I cannot say that we're going to be introducing very, very soon. But you will be introducing it here, right? They'll, be, they'll hear it first here. You want you... to break the news. Of course, as Definitely. we normally do. Definitely. Um, but we are growing, and uh, we take pride in the fact that not only are we just growing um, as MBVN, but we're growing with the nation. Right. We, as we grow, we are directly positively influencing um, the country's economy. We are providing um, employment for the young people. Yeah. And we are also helping the entire food chain to expand and also to have a bit of liquidity. Right. Um, we all know that the economy is, is, is just starting to get into gear following a, a slow crunch during the COVID um, period. So we are influencing cattle breeders, mm. we are influencing retailers who are getting good quality product to resell in their shops. We're also influencing families to eat good meat and prevent um, being unwell through accessing um, meat that has not been tested, yeah. which is what we boast as uh, MBVN. Our abattoir is world class. We adhere to world standards and definitely our meat is quality and it is we test all our meat for any disease, especially TB, yeah. before we can continue with serving it to the nation. So you can be, you can rest assured, our products are all well above standard, right, world then. standard actually. Yeah, essentially, and I'm just happy that uh, so to, to learn that when I get home, I don't necessarily have to buy meat here and travel all the way to Nlangano. And it gets I can more, get it there. yeah, it gets more exciting because now what is happening? We've standardized our pricing throughout. Okay. All our shops, if you're in Babani, in Shangano, in Matapa, in Zini, you're going to get one price. And I want us to get into that one in particular, the price drop promotion uh, that everyone's talking about. Uh, I hear that it's uh, quite uh, the drop, and uh, I'm also uh, super excited about this particular drop. Uh, is, is, is the meat at its most affordability right now? Whoa, even I can't wait to get out of here and, and, and go and get fill up my my basket with meat, meat, meat. Right. So um, this is not a promotion. MBVN is stating it clearly, boldly, and without fear that we are the most affordable meat supplier in the country. Mm. Our meat is the most affordable. If you can beat it, it has been laboratory test tested. Right. It has been killed in a world-class abattoir, and it's cheaper than ours. Come, we'll match the price. <laughs> <laughs> That's a challenge. I, yes, I challenge everyone at home. Right. Um, we, we, we are proud of the fact that we've access, accessed the market. You know that we, we recently um, uh, acquired MDVN. We've ass assessed the market. We've done our research. And we know exactly what it must what you need now right. to be able to, to continue thriving. Yeah. And that is what we're here to do. As MDVN, we're here to ensure that they must what you not only just are able to fulfill their mandate of, of, of helping the country acquire world, first world stand, um, status, yeah. but do that healthy mm -hmm. and, and well fed. Mm -hmm. um, we, we want to, to bridge the gap um, of hunger, and that's the reason why you're going to be amazed, Maswati, if you go to our outlets now this morning, we open at 7, it's open already. It's already open. Yes, it's already open for those early morning, early birds that like want me. to... To, to, to collect meat yeah. for their outlets. And for those that you know go, only have time in the morning and then get stuck in the office, we also close very late. We close at um, 7, a, 7 p.m., um, 8, 8 p.m. here in Baban for those that um, um, leave the office late. But just to tease, tease the Maswati a bit, I, I, I challenge you, have a, walk to, have a walk down there and see if you will not buy brisket for a small fee. It's currently selling a kg at 84 wow. in 1999 from an amazing 178. It's just wow. a snippet. Please keep locked on our social media pages as well. We're going to be dropping bombshells the whole day. Yeah, we want show. this long weekend to be a celebration. We are celebrating after all. Yeah. We're turning 56. Yeah, so indeed. definitely um, we want every single household yeah. to have a mini bride, to have something nice and oily in the pot 
it's a, it's a, it's a long weekend, man. Yeah. We need to all get out there and have fun. N nothing is as exciting as a price drop during trying economic times. Now, see if I'll tell you that much. I want us to get into uh, seafood because the market for seafood has certainly grow in, grown in the country. And uh, we've heard the good news that uh, you've introduced that as well at Aswatini Meat Industries. Aswatini Meat Industries is not afraid of uncharted waters. We have realized that we, we are not just a meat factory. We are a processing plant, and when we're processing plant, we process meat products. And this is an alternative to those that cannot eat meat, red meat. Mm. We have all sorts of, uh, all type. we provide, we want to be known as the one-stop shop. Everything that is, has got to do with your culinary requirements, you're going right. to find it at Mbiveni. We have a section in Mbobana already that has a wide selection. When we introduced our plaza, we had a 25% launch, just launch promo where everyone could just dabble in our products, give us feedback and tell yeah. us. We're going to make it even more exciting now. What we're going to do, we're going to make sure that on site every Saturday, beginning from the next month, we're going to have a chef. We're going to have someone who's going to teach our people how to prepare fish, mm. special dishes, how to prepare our special cuts, how to prepare certain meat that you've never thought of. You know, it's not just about salt, boiling and oil, yeah. but yeah. to really, really create adventure and excitement mm. around uh, meat and all meat types. It's quite interesting because, you know, for us, uh, Jim Goas, uh, I'll tell you for sure right now that we are your market when it comes to seafood because we are not really into, you know, oil and, you know, cooking, all of that, all, everything that you include when you cook. We want it at its most healthiest. And fish is what we always go for. So thank you so much for joining us. You've spoken on quite a lot uh, seafood. You have quality meat, first world uh, meat factory, um, your philosophy and what it is that uh, you're doing to boost the country's economy, which is very, very important right now. You mentioned that we are growing tomorrow, and uh, part of you know our visions as we grow as a country is that uh, we boost our economy and that uh, there's affordability and employment creation, really, if you think about it. The way that uh, that says to me, every time you open shop, someone's getting employed. Definitely, and it's our young people. Um, you know, um, when, you, when you note... Um, there's a lot of uh, people are not getting employed, people are educated. And MBVN is an alternative. Instead of just hanging around at home, we're going to give you an opportunity to do something good. Maybe you might find yourself changing even your career path. It's mm. exciting. Nice. We, it's it's yeah. a very exciting moment for all of us as, as parents and as um, uh, friends of, of parents who have young children yeah. who have been struggling with yeah. employment for quite a while. Swatini Meat Industry is making sure that uh, Maswati by are making sure that uh, we get the best quality meat at an affordable price. But before I let you go, I just I just want you to you know what's what's the last message that you want to you know say to a Maswati as well as uh, the the promotion. It's not a promotion really. It's the not price a drop. promotion. The price drop. This is 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 is, is an exciting start. Um, we're going to be coming um, out with all the information that they what you need. We're going to be visible everywhere in every right. single corner of this country. We have agents in all four regions. We want to make sure that every single home has information on how to acquire quality meat. Mm. Um, we're going to be um, in um, Baban on Saturday okay. at our um, Baban Plaza. Um, we're going to be having food tastings and generally enjoying the day with uh, the public, with members of our staff. Mm. And they know what we mean when we say we're enjoying. In all our shops, we're expecting people to, have, to be on the lookout for free food tastings. Okay. We're going to allow the nation to taste our product free food for tastings. free. We saw a TikToker who was asking us to add pub. They don't know <laughs> that we do have a range for bright oh, pub man. that is currently in store <laughs> and we're the only stockists of it. So definitely, we're thinking about it, TikToker. We're yeah. thinking about it. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us, Nosipo Shongwe uh, from MV Veni Meat Industries, providing us all the insight regarding uh, what it is that they are doing with Nabisa Lu Nyao Lab and making sure that uh, you, everyone, La Pagangwane, Unayo Inyama, and I think that's very important. And she clearly said that uh, quite frankly. Nanawe, Hamburg, and I'm like saying, Nangabeso Vugil, Saba Veleba Vulil, Nabuta, Putak Shai, so I'm seven days. You worry not, they are open until eight, I believe. Said yes, eight. in Baba were open until 8 yeah. and then all our other outlets in Nematapa, in Manzini and in Tlangano it's 7pm but of course 
If you are by the door and are inside the shop, we we'll open it for you. That, that's it. Because the center of an energy alone, Hambe, Niyao Tsenga, Inyama, lay quality, na lay affordable. Now, Pumanel Paskiti, let's go for a net break. We speak uh, to Temingo Simnisi regarding the technical seminar that speaks to preventing fraud, strengthening compliance, and improving contribution collection. That's what it is hosting that from the 22nd until the 24th of April. <laughs> Good, the listeners cards in a pantle while this. About research, eh? Buffoons, eh? Being risky means we're not going to go away. We're going to go away. Now, I think we're going to go to the hospital. We're going to go to the hospital. Catch Eswatini Lifestyle Friday evenings at 6.30 p.m. on Eswatini TV. Hello, I'm going to post it to the Eswatini Lifestyle. And of course, this is your wonderful host, Chuki Zanini. We're here to give you nothing but the best of the entertainment and lifestyle scene in the kingdom of Eswatini. Get the trending stories with your favorite stars of Eswatini in fashion, showbiz, food, travel, and events. They say when you're in doubt, which color do you wear? It's orange. Simply follow Eswatini Lifestyle on our Eswatini TV pages and social media platforms. Don't forget to catch the show Fridays at 6.30 p.m. Repeat on Mondays at 9 a.m. on Eswatini TV, Spogos and Maswati. It is an interesting journey, a journey that I cannot take alone, a journey that meets you and me. Your favorite show, Tantan and Kondo, cultivates and captivates talents of Emma Swati all over the country, be it poetry or craft. Make sure that you join me, Fortunate Mabuza, every Saturday, 4 p.m. on Eswati TV, Sibugo Semma Swati. Welcome back to the program. Let's uh, get into an interesting interview with uh, Tembingo Simnisi. She's the ISA Lizen Officer for Southern Africa. We want to look at Tumseben Labatawa now. It's a technical seminar from the 22nd until the 24th of April, focusing on preventing fraud, strengthening compliance, as well as improving contribution collection. What are some of the challenges and strategies uh, that our proposed organized technical seminar now? She's going to shed light on some of those uh, primary challenges and risk factors uh, that uh, these institutions encounter in preventing fraud and ensuring compliance, as well as a lot of other things that we're going to discuss, but we want to start there. Welcome to the program. A very good morning to you. What are the primary challenges that uh, I encountered, really? And in some regards, about the social security, uh, we know that uh, we have institutions, we want to look at the Southern African region. We understand you are focusing on the Southern African uh, region. Talk to me about some of these challenges. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, uh, yes, I'm focusing for the Southern African region. Yeah. And my office looks at the whole of SADAC, wow. for instance. Okay. So this, um, maybe I will start by explaining what is ESA. Okay. ESA is meant for International Social Security Association, an organization that um, promotes excellence in social security administration, uh, looking at uh, government bodies, agencies, mm -hmm. and institutions. Okay. So what we do, we give them product knowledge and expert knowledge okay. on how to run these social security organizations. 
Uh, when I'm talking about social security organizations, I'm talking about organizations uh, that, 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 that uh, for example, in Swaziland, um, the ENPF, which looks at a provident fund uh, after people have retired or if they have, they have lost their jobs. Uh, we look at organizations like MVA, uh, whereby it covers accidents. Uh, people who are injured uh, on the roads, they are mm. covered there. So that's social security. security. Yeah. We, uh, we also have the Ministry of Labor in Swaziland, which also administers the Lildeland Wangeni and also administers e workmen compensation. Okay. Uh, workmen compensation is whereby someone has been injured at work and that person needs to be compensated because of those kind of injuries. Right, right, right. We also cover e FSRA in Swaziland, which is uh, an overseas. A, a regulator for social and financial yeah. institutions. Yeah. So that's what we, 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 we are about. Mm -hmm. So the challenges that are going to be covered in this kind of a seminar uh, well, that we are going to have, uh, you have stated the theme uh, which covers the e prevention of fraud, mm -hmm. um, strengthening compliance, and improving contribution and collection. Right. Uh, yes. So the challenges that we are going to be looking at we have seen that um, contribution and compliance is the key uh, aspect of a social security institution. Mm. That's where if, if something goes wrong, the whole organization will crumble. So the region then, together with the steering committee, which is a governing body for the region as well, mm -hmm. we then decided to go to OK, because we are seeing a, a lot of problems happening in, in this regard in our yeah. institutions, which include um, fraud that can happen because <coughs> some, of our, um, some of our employers <coughs> yeah. are not bringing um, the money that they are taking from people's salaries mm. as contributions to, to the respective institutions. Okay. Uh, so we gather that as fraud. Because uh, you know that um, social security institutions are governed by the law right. of a country. Yeah. So if those companies, they end up not doing that, they are defrauding the organizations, they are also defrauding the government itself, and they are de also defrauding the beneficiaries. Beneficiaries. Yes. Yeah. So that's, that is a problem that has been seen happening. And it, has very, it is very painful to see people at the end coming to this institution trying to claim their monies and only to be told that, hey, there's nothing here. Your employer mm. didn't bring anything. Mm. So it's quite painful, and you have been working for so many years, and at the end of the day, you are not benefiting anything yeah. Yeah. From, from what you have been laboring for. It's quite so those are the things that are going to be looked at. And we are going to be uh, sitting down with different uh, organizations. Some organizations were able to fight this problem of corruption. Uh, some organizations are still crumbling, struggling, and trying to find food to, yeah. to, to be in a better place. So what, in this kind of a seminar, we are going to come together and try to share what our institution have been doing. Mm -hmm. The others that are, 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 are lagging behind, they are going to learn from those ones that are have improved and right. uh, have succumbed to that this kind of a problem. Yeah. So that kind of cross pollination of information is going to be really necessary and you know quite important in this kind of seminar where you learn from your your counterpart. But I want us to get into obviously you've touched on you know the fraud part of it. I want us to look at the importance of compliance. It's quite essential because we have seen how these uh, you know, institutions always speak about compliance. What is it about compliance that you have seen as a challenge that you want to address? Okay, thank you. In terms of compliance, um, we are having a lot of employers who doesn't comply. When okay. you're talking of compliance, we mean those people are not following the laws of a right. country. They are not following uh, what they are supposed to be doing in terms of covering their employees. Okay. So when we say compliance, we mean the organizations that are collecting, the institutions, the social security institutions that are collecting, they have to make sure that these organizations, they do bring the the Jews to the, to the institutions, they, which means they need to comply. That is what we say it's compliance. They need to comply yeah. with the laws and what they've promised their employees and what the, the, the government has promised 
them to do in yeah. terms of bringing uh, whatever they are collecting from their employers. And we, we must bear in mind that um, this kind of, um, of, 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 of complying is not, a, is not a, 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 like somebody has to, has to like, um, decide, I, I, I need to do this. Right. It's right. something that has been imposed okay. by the law. Yeah. So they need to comply. And if you don't, that's And unlawful. if you don't comply, that means now you have, yeah, it's unlawful. You have made um, uh, lika bukala. Yeah, and what, so what's the price that you pay if, if you don't comply? If you don't comply, um, there are penalties. Okay. Huge penalties that you need to pay. And it's even more than what you're supposed to be bringing. Wow. Okay. So it's a loss to your organization. It's a loss to your company. So complying is very important, and people should do that, and it will be easy for yeah. them, even easy in running their institutions. Yeah. For instance, in the other strategies that we are going to be looking at in terms of the compliance, uh, we look at other institutions which are outside of the social security sphere, okay. which the institution needs to collaborate with in terms of catching those people who are not complying. Okay. Yes. For instance, in Germany, make an example because we have SRA in Swaziland. Mm. We have the Register of Companies office mm. in the ministries. Mm. So those people would be working with the institutions uh, to see, good, okay, there's these companies and these companies are paying taxes right. uh, at, at SRA, but there's nothing that is going towards social security. Mm. Where are these people that are employed by these institutions? So that would assist to enforce the compliance. Right. Because yeah. now you know who this person is paying taxes, mm. but they're not, not paying compli any, yeah. any, any contributions towards their employees. Yeah. I, I want us to get into contribution collection, and I think that's a perfect segue from what you have just spoken to. We, we have seen you know, how much technology and partnerships have been you know, a pivotal during uh, you know, these, these, these talks that you always have in terms of innovative approaches. You always want to do that, but it's always linked to partnerships. I want us to talk about the importance maybe of the role of technology and collaboration in the context of combating e fraud as well as enhancing the contribution collection local mangayo and compliance within the southern um, African social security uh, institutions. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, technology is playing a very key role. If you can you, you, you can you can look back at the time when we had COVID nineteen Mm. Uh, where most of our organizations uh, were not uh, very much technology savvy mm. in terms of their um, their day to day um, at the business doings right so technology is very key so mm. what we do at ESA we equip uh, our organizations in terms of um, finding the right systems okay. for their organizations systems that are going to also be very, very uh, good in a sense that they are very watertight. They, they even eliminate these possibilities mm. of, of fraudulent, fraudulent activities happening right. uh, within the systems. Because we know Ogutsi, sometimes uh, individuals can have a lot of mistakes. But technology, in most cases, is able to, to realize most of the mistakes which are, 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 are not realized by us as, as um, individuals. So we, we, we equip uh, our organizations in terms of, of, of uh, good systems, uh, technology-wise, and everything. Uh, one example that I can make, Jim, <coughs> digitalization, it's a, it's a worldwide theme yeah. in our days, yeah. ever since COVID. Ever since COVID. Because yeah. mostly, most of the organizations were not even able to, to serve their customers at home during the time when people needed the money the most, yeah, you yeah, understand? Yeah. So now we, we are concentrating deeply on that because we want people to work wherever they are right. as ESA and be able to deliver and at the same time eliminate any mistake or any fraudulent activity that can happen. Yeah. Yes. So we, we, we do hope to see portals being introduced, innovative exactly. portals where people can just comply from mm. the tip of their fingertips, uh, from the house, from the comfort of their homes. Uh, we, we, we might see that very soon. Yeah, us. yeah, we are. We are we're already seeing them. Okay. Because, for instance, I will, I will make one example. 
if you can look the ENPF uh, digitalization journey here indeed. in Swaziland, uh, it has been a huge one. Impressive. Uh, very impressive indeed, yeah. because they have um, introduced your employer portal, they've introduced your app. People are now able to claim their, their benefits at home, sitting at home, and within some three days or so, their yeah. money is in their accounts. They are able to see if their, their employers are really are really bringing their, 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 their contributions at, with the funds. Yeah. Uh, sitting at home, because they, they even get SMSs. There mm -hmm. are people who, do, who don't have the, um, the yeah, your smartphones yeah. or everything. They don't have the app. Yeah. But those people are not left behind as well, because they can, they can receive an SMS or use the USSD to check if their, their dues have been paid mm -hmm. uh, at the mm -hmm. fund. Mm -hmm. So we are seeing a lot of these things happening now. So uh, basically, going to these offices and going to going to these offices to claim your benefit, it's yeah. it's it's no longer necessary. It's quite easy now. You have it, no, it's no PG. longer necessary. If you yeah. have time, you then go. It's okay. I, I have late. I have leisure time to go and yeah. visit the ENPF office or wherever. But you can do it wherever you are. Even the the, the employees themselves, yeah. they can be able to to collect these contributions from these employers, they could be able to conduct them, to, to follow up if they are, they are complying, yeah. to do everything, whilst they are sitting at home. So if you are sick, you are fine at home. You'll be working, but sleeping. Yeah. So that's a good thing. It's good. Options are always good, you know, if you mm. prefer Mobi, if you prefer DG, if you prefer going in person, you, you have all those options now, and it's impressive, as you said. I want us to look ahead now, uh, Tom Gorsi. What do you envision as maybe the way forward for Southern African social security institutions in terms of maybe implementing strategies as well as innovative ways discussed in this seminar, Le Dauba Corner. How can these institutions effectively coordinate, uh, coordinate sorry, these efforts, Le Dauba Corner, in this regard? Okay. Uh, coordinating this effort is quite easy. Because what is going to be discussed in that meeting and what the, the innovative strategies that are going to be shared, as ESA, we have a, a portal for our members. We, we developed it a long time ago. It's not yeah. a new thing, uh, our ESA portal. Yeah. So we have a portal, and this portal has all the vast knowledge for these institutions that they can derive and look back and go back to see what uh, we have realized that MVA has done this during the seminar, and now we want to go look back and see how can we take what MVA has done and put it in our, in our systems or in our innovative approaches. Mm -hmm. So they, they have that, that information in the portal, they use the portal, they've got access as members to the portal. But unfortunately, this portal is not open for everyone. Fair enough. Yeah, the portal is only open for ESA members, yeah. people who are membership, who affiliate to the ESA. Yeah. So then, if the information is not enough for them to really get the strategy, the actual strategy they want, yeah. through my office, Okay. They, are, they are connected with that institution, okay. who then invited to come to their offices and demonstrate, sit with them and hold their hand and together they develop this strategy. Interesting indeed and you know I've been advised that I should wrap up our interview because of time but I really just want to ask how many members do you have? You've alluded to the fact that not everyone is privy to this kind of information, only members. So I'm asking that because I want to learn how many countries we're expecting to land in Eswatini over the next few days. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, um, my members, the ESA members, when I'm talking about the ESA members I'm talking about worldwide. Right. They are about everywhere in the world. Okay. So I, I, I wouldn't remember the number exactly, but I think it's over a thousand okay. members. And how many are we in the, expecting? In the ESA family. family. Okay. But in the region, because now this seminar is organized for the region. Yes. As much as it, it, will, it will allow everyone from all over the world to attend because they are ESA members. By virtue of being an ESA member, you are allowed to attend any event that is of interest to you as right. an ESA member because it's an enclosed family. The NPF will be there, MVA will be there, SSRA exactly. will be there. Exactly. So I, I, we are talking about 25 countries okay. that will be coming into Swaziland from all over the world, uh, which includes about uh, 11 in the region. Mm. 
countries, I'm talking about countries, not organizations, mm. just the countries. Because the organization, you find that in each country there are so many organizations yeah. that affiliate in ESA. For instance, I will make an example here in Swaziland, we've got five. Right. Which is the MVA, FSRA, PSPF, yeah. Ministry of Labor, Little and mm -hmm. So basically, we're expecting a lo whole lot of people. We're expecting up to 100 participants. So the country will be busy. Yeah. Our, to uh, the, our tourism will be booming. Yeah. So, yeah, we, the, the, flag, the flag is going to be lifted really high. Yeah. So, yeah, I will also encourage people to treat our guests very well because they will be moving all over as much as they are, com they are coming for a seminar. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I know so as is the, they have a, a, we have a track record that we're Yeah, we're, so yeah, I know really I'm, I'm not scared when yeah. it comes to that. <laughs> Tim Gossi, thank you so much for joining us on the program and good luck on the technical seminar. It happens next week on Monday until Wednesday from the 22nd until the 24th. It's going to look at preventing fraud, strengthening compliance, as well as improving contribution collection. Let's go for a break. We'll wrap up the show shortly. <laughs> Being risky it means we're not going to go away from the world. Now, I'm going to go minutes before eight o'clock we've come to the end of our show today thank you for joining us so selling jama awa lambala kakulu kukuti si celebrate his majesty king mswati the third on his 56th birthday lila pa e mangaya and you cannot emphasize this enough from mguni all roads lead to mangaya and tomorrow so i'm going to go to the next one 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 Right. In 